Hmm, that's a good question. I feel like I don't know what stillness looks like for me. For me particularly, I mean if we're thinking about the dictionary term for stillness is when there is no motion, am I right? And for me, I don't know what it feels like to have no motion. I feel like time is constantly fleeting, moments are constantly fleeting, and I don't really know what it really truly feels like to be still. I don't know, I, I, I guess that's why I need this trip. I need to be able to just be here. Do, do I make sense? To be present. Yeah, I guess that's what stillness means for me, to be present. So we are officially in Kyoto. Lauren and I booked a really beautiful lodge for our anniversary, which is today. So happy anniversary to us. We booked a really pretty lodge in the mountains of Kyoto and it's so, 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 so beautiful. So we're going to spend the next three days over there before we head back into the city and spend another two days in the city before heading out to Osaka. So yeah, we're officially here. I'm so tired. Okay guys, we are here at the lodge and you know what, I'm not even going to say anything, I'm just going to let you guys look. It is so beautiful, like the air quality in general is amazing and we have this river flowing, the sound of it is so soothing and let me not even get started on the trees here, the trees here are gorgeous. But enough of that, I really, really want to show you guys our place. We already bought our stuff in and we're just now getting settled. But before we're fully, fully comfortable in this space, I want to show you guys first. So let's go in. So this is the entryway where you take off your shoes. And that is the bedroom area as soon as you walk in. And then you walk here and you open this up and it's a view of the stream. And it leads all the way down that way, which leads to the bedroom as well. So as you can see, it's open here too. So beautiful. And then you walk down this way. And here is my favorite part of the space. She is so gorgeous. And there's a waterfall shower. I cannot wait to take a bath here later and have some wine. And the view is just, it's beautiful. So we have the shower here, the bed here, and the living area here. There's a tea section and it has a teapot and everything. And then that is the living space in the kitchen. It also says tap water of this house is directly from local mountain spring water. And this is our view. Amazing. I almost felt high 
when I was in the bathtub. I think we're about to make some tea and light some incense and just chill. I have some work I need to catch up on and also a little bit of editing. So we are about to head back into the living room and I kind of want to eat some of the food that we bought. I'm getting a little hungry. and I just came out of the bath slash shower. Our skin is very, very dehydrated. Well, my skin is very, very dehydrated. So I'm just applying a lot of hyaluronic acid all over my face. I really dislike dry, plain air, if that makes sense. I, like I could feel the texture in my skin right now. I hate that. Recently have been trying Numbuzzin serum. Mm -hmm. I've also been really into like milky toners lately. It's been hydrating my skin a lot. Kyoto is really beautiful. This is more of like the countryside of Kyoto and I really love it here. It is quite a difference from where we are at in LA and what I have been used to my whole life. I'm such a city girl. I'm proud of it too, but it does feel really nice to just be able to get away. And guys, this place has floor heating. I forgot about how a lot of Asian homes have floor heating. Honestly, game changer. Just put some bio oil on my face. Just letting her soak it all in because I definitely, I need it. Also gonna spray some of this hydrating facial spray. Let me show you guys the view right now out of this window. How gorgeous is that? Like, it's so pretty that it's almost eerie. You know what I mean? I am about to have a onigiri. It's a tuna onigiri. Something I did notice about the rice in Japan, or in Asia in general, it's a lot more fluffier and bouncier. You know who I feel like right now? You know that lady on TikTok where she's like, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> The onigiri is so good. Honestly, I feel like my body is very confused right now because I'm supposed to be sleeping at this hour, but I'm eating. I'm like eating at the most random times throughout my day. And I think my body is just overall a little bit confused. I usually stop eating around 6 p.m. so that my body can digest. And I start eating at 10 a.m. But because the time zones are switched, my body is gonna have to adjust a little bit. Good early morning guys. Please do not mind my bedhead at the moment. It's currently five in the morning here. It's still that pretty blue early morning lighting. It was completely pitch black when I woke up. I woke up before Lauren. We went to bed around like 9 p.m. and we woke up at five. Well, I woke up at five-ish. Lauren woke up probably around like 5.30 and I think it's 5.30 right now. Yeah. But I woke up and I was walking to the bathroom and everything was dark and I looked out the window and I saw that like everything was white outside. So 
so I was kind of scared at first but I realized that it snowed and it's still snowing and I want to show you guys it's so beautiful I have not seen snow in so long and up in the mountains Ugh, I'm literally in love Lauren is currently washing up and I'm just here enjoying it. I'm kind of like sad that our trip is only for three days here. Next time I come back, we're going to do it for a longer time because, wow, it feels so good to just be here in nature. It's a bit scary at night though because, listen, I am a city girl. I have always been in cities since I was born. So being in the middle of nowhere in the mountains and like you can't hear anything like it's pitch black and it's completely silent at night when you look out your window something about that kind of frightens me a part of me is almost like i cannot believe i'm here like i can't believe this is real life i cannot believe my life has taken me to such beautiful places and views i just love it so much i am about to journal and just take it all in and do a little bit of gratitude practice today morning and make some tea and burn some incense, so. It would be light, ceiling made of glass, counter space, a nice tray for when grandma comes to visit me, space to think, green apples in a bowl. Settle down, let it be something on my own. And I might have to get a real job to get the couch that I want. And I think, I think I could be happy. Lauren and I bought kimchi fried rice at a 7-Eleven in the city center before we came over here. That's what it looks like. It looks good. I'm going to take my first bite. We microwaved it. It's good. It's definitely not the way I'm familiar with, with how Koreans do kimchi fried rice, because I literally grew up on this, but it's good. I'm very familiar with Japanese food just because Japanese and Korean cultures have intertwined so much in the past but I'm definitely more familiar with Korean flavors I know that when it comes to Korean food it's very pungent it's packed with flavors and seasonings and there's just a lot going on but I think Japanese food is a little bit more mellowed out it's usually more on the sweeter savory side so yeah course taking another bath because it is just so nice and I want to take as much of an advantage of this space as I can. Lauren and I are heading to the city center of Kyoto tomorrow and then we're gonna spend like the next three days there and then head to Osaka and then head to Tokyo and then head to Seoul and that's where we will wrap up our trip. I know that social media is very much far from reality. A lot of people post their happy moments and of course I post my happy moments too, but I just wanted to be a little bit more vulnerable than that in this moment. Um, Cause I have had some really rough years guys. Like when I tell you it has been rough before like, maybe like before this past year. Whew. It, it was, if it was one thing, it was always another and it was just a lot going on. And I feel like being in this place and just being able to take a step away from the hustle and bustle of what my reality is back home has been so good for me and my emotional and mental health. I feel like I can take a breather and take a moment to just be a little bit more introspective and take in everything that has happened within the past year to a year and a half to two or even three years. <laughs> and yeah, I've just been deep in thought and journaling and 
and taking my time. There's really not much that you can do here, being that internet is a little bit hard for me to get. Being unplugged has put me in a position to think about what it is I want, the trajectory of my life, and who it is that I'm becoming, and more specifically, if I like the person that I'm becoming. I think that this year is the first year that I've been fully comfortable with who I am and what it is that I like. I think within the past years I've struggled with not knowing what it is I really want and worrying so much about what it is that other people want and like. And I do think that a lot of us tend to do that without even really noticing. And there was a point where I had to ask myself, do I even like half the things that I really like, you know? And it came to a point where I had to make that step to be even pickier to figure out what it is that I really like. I think that was a bit of the turning point question in my life. It also has led me to stop looking at myself from an audience's perspective, but to look at myself from my own point of view. That has been self-healing in so many different ways. And I feel like this trip is really summing up everything that I have been through. And it is bittersweet. It's nostalgic. It's motivating. It's encouraging. It's so many different things at once. When I head back to Korea, my family in Korea, my extended family, is going to be meeting Lauren. And that is also going to be so huge for me. It's always been a fear of mine to come out to them or talk to them about my sexuality. But luckily, my mom went before me and she already broke the news to them. I think my mom taking that step to break the news to her family is like so moving for me just because of everything that my mom and I have gone through to rebuild our relationship. It is just so nice to feel like she's on my side, you know? And like taking on the responsibility to do that for me as my mom, as my parent. That is also something that I am processing. <laughs> I'm just grateful guys, like this isn't like sad tears, these are happy tears. I'm filled with gratitude, I'm ready for all the good things coming into my life, I'm happy, I'm forever trusting the process, and I am loving this bath. <laughs> yeah, sorry, got a little bit emotional there, but these are just some of the thoughts that have been going through my head. It's crazy what being unplugged from society will really do to you. Like, this is the effect. Thank you for just listening to me talk about my feelings. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this bath, and Lauren and I might head into the camping lodge around here. Apparently it's like a 12 minute walk and I think it's gonna be so nice to just walk to it and enjoy the scenery and the nature. We'll see what's going on. They also left us a car here to drive but the driver's side is on the right side of the car in Japan so we'll see if we want to drive that. We might go for a little test run we'll see either way i do want to go pick up snacks and figure that out after i take this bath So Lauren and I bought these little cup ramens at 7-Eleven and we are going to try them. So Lauren got the udon with deep fried tofu. I really wanted to get this one too but I was kind of in the mood for something spicy. So I got the Chinese spicy sesame ramen. It kind of looks like it's like Szechuan spicy and I love Szechuan spicy. So let's uh, give them a try. Then we're gonna make some coffee. So Lord and I picked these up at 7-Eleven as well. It's kind of like a to-go drip coffee, which is really interesting. I've never seen this before. Interesting, like that, like that. That's so cool. coffee first. It 
It's pretty good. I put a little bit of sugar in it, so I have my ramen cup prepared. This is how us Asians eat ramen. My mom used to make me these little cups, and you would put your noodles in here like this, and then you eat it. Oh my god, this ramen is so good. So good. And it's snowing outside. This is perfect. It's a nice warm meal for a snowy day inside. Finally outside. God, it is so cold. It's way colder than I thought it would be, but it's beautiful. As you guys can see, it's gorgeous. Lauren is currently getting in that car. You guys probably can't hear me as well, but we are heading out to the town center. So the thing about these cars is in Japan, people drive on the right-hand side. And it is your first time driving on the right hand side? First time. So, um, we're just gonna wing it. <laughs> you ready? I can't. I feel like I've said beautiful like the most times I've ever said it in my life before during <laughs> this whole entire vlog. The mountains are gorgeous and it's this little cute Mitsubishi car. I'm so excited to grab snacks and food because I'm hungry. It's also the time of the month for me, so you know it's on 10. some karage with rice and that is in the microwave right now so i bought these like great jelly ones lauren bought the peach ones but she ate them all during the car ride home but these have like this like fruit juice in the middle of them so i'm excited to try the grape ones then i bought some pizza chips i've had pizza chips in korea and they're very very good so i'm interested to see the japanese take on pizza chips and then i found coca-cola plus I have never had Coca-Cola Plus, but apparently it has more dietary fiber put into it, which is interesting. So I want to give it a try. It tastes the same. It tastes the same. I mean, for a pizza chip, it tastes tastes good. For a pizza chip, it tastes good. It's good. We need to bring this back. This vlog is like 60% of me eating my way through my stay. This is this is okay. It smelled really great, but I'm not like 100% sold on it. 
The rice though, I could eat the rice alone. Guys, these pajamas are literally everything. Seriously, I feel like I have nothing on at all. We are heading out tomorrow morning and heading to our second stay in Kyoto in the city center. I thoroughly enjoyed my stay here. It's so beautiful. I 10 out of 10 recommend to anyone who wants to get away. Maybe if you live in a city and you just want to go somewhere quiet or if you just want to get away in general or just come visit Japan and stay in the countryside, why not? I feel very well rested and ready to take on the rest of my trip. Would I come here alone? No, because I am terrified of the dark and open spaces. But if you're not, then I recommend it. Other than that, we still have some time in the morning to just kind of figure things out and take our time getting ready and packing up. We're gonna call a taxi and make our way to our next spot. I hope you guys love, 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 love the spot. Any camera does not do this place justice this is like the type of place that you just have to see with your own eyes some places are just meant to be seen and experienced and this is one of those places and i'm in love with this spot and probably will be coming back again anyways i'm gonna get some rest wake up in the morning and pack our stuff and prepare myself to dive into the rest of my trip in japan see you guys